Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an SQLite server on Ubuntu running on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed SQLite 3 server. So from this marketplace listing, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this product page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation is done, you need to simply click on continue to configuration. Next up, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you have two options to go with, either launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or move to the EC2 management console. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. So that is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as SQLite 3 and then make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. And scroll down, choose the key pair for SSH authentication by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. After that, you can go with the default network settings and simply click on launch instance when you are satisfied. And then simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, what you want to do is that you want to click on view all instances. So you can see that our SQLite 3 virtual machine is still in the pending state. So simply wait for it to change its state from pending to running. When in the running state, we can connect to the virtual machine by using the SSH connection. For that, simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. And then shift over to the SSH client tab and simply copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. And then replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and once you are prompted, simply type in yes and then hit enter once more. After that, your command prompt would connect to the SSH service of your virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to verify the installation of SQLite 3. So for that, we have the command SQLite 3 space double hyphen version and then hit enter. So as you can see that we are currently running the version 3.31.1. Now to open up the SQLite 3 shell, you simply type in the command SQLite 3 and then hit enter. And if you want to exit from this shell, you type in the command dot exit or dot quit. Now if you want to open up a specific database or if you want to create a new database, what you do is that you type in the command SQLite 3 and then followed up by the name of the database. Let's say we go with cars and then followed up by dot db. Now this should create the cars database and if the database already exists, it is going to open up that database. Now to verify this connection with the cars database, what you can do is that you can run the command dot databases and then hit enter. So as you can see that our SQLite shell is connected to cars db. Now if you want to create a new table, what you can do is that you can follow along the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post guide on how to set up SQLite 3 on Amazon. And from here you would see this command which is to create a table of cars which contains ID of the car, make of the car, car model and car size. So simply copy this command and paste it inside the SQL shell and then hit enter. Now that we have created the table, we can insert data into it by using the insert command. So if you head back to the blog post, you see that the command is insert into followed up by the table name which in our case would be cars and then the keyword values followed up by parentheses and within the parentheses we have values for each individual column. Now if you want to insert some dummy data, you can copy these commands and paste them inside the SQLite shell and then hit enter. And we have basically inserted data inside our cars table. Now if you want to retrieve data from our cars table, what you can do is that you can run this command which is select asterisk from cars which means to select all of the data from the cars table and then hit enter. And you get the result as the car ID, make, model and length. And if you want to exit from this SQLite shell, what you can do is that you can run the command dot quit and then hit enter. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. 
And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up SQLite server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services and also for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.